YouTube, what is going on with y'all boys? It's your boy Max Flames tuning in on the Nilo World channel for y'all, man. Today, I will be making a video that I think is important for a lot of um, beginner producers and even producers who, um, who haven't really worked with other producers before. And that is pretty much going to be how to properly collaborate um, with other producers. So I know to most producers that may seem kind of like a basic and sort of trivial thing, but a lot of producers still kind of do this stuff wrong. So I want to make a video showing you guys uh, pretty much how I collab at, with other producers and I will be opening another collab from another Neil World member, Geo Got Bands, and I'll be finishing that collab. So yeah, uh, so before we get into it, um, don't forget to subscribe to the Neela World channel. Follow us on uh, Instagram and Twitter at Neela World. Um, and yeah, so let's just hop right into it. Uh, the first thing I want to talk about is loops. So um, sending loops to other producers is pretty much the most common way to collaborate uh, with other producers. But people sometimes still do it wrong. Like I'll do collabs, pay collabs from people and they'll send me loops with no BPM or like, you know, 16 bar loops with... Um, you know, the loops not stand out at the end. So pretty much I just want to talk about oh, when making loops, obviously, first of all, you want to have the BPM always in the loop. Um, so this BPM is at 129. So that way, if any producer wanted to use it, they obviously know to set the BPM to 129, right? Um, and so I'm gonna play this loop really quick. <laughs> So yeah, I'm not gonna play the whole thing, but pretty much in the whole loop, like I have different sections uh, coming in and out of the loop, uh, which you know I think is important. So uh, the producer obviously has a lot of uh, sections of the loop to work with um, and take out even if they didn't like it. But the most important thing is at the end of the loop, I stemmed out every sound. <laughs> So yeah, there's like different ways producers do this. Sometimes they'll just stem it out like right next to each other or sometimes they'll leave like, they would leave like a little space right here and then stem out the next sound. Either or works as long as you're just consistent with how you stem it out so it doesn't, you know, it's not uh, confusing for the producer who's gonna use it. Um, and yeah, so I think that's pretty much all I wanted to touch on with loops. Um, so the next most common way that producers collab is through sending FLPs. So uh, I the first thing I wanna mention is that this really only works if you have a more updated FL, uh, like FL 20.9 I think is the most current one right now. But anyway, um, if you have like a less, like if you have like 20.6 or if you're still like on FL 12 or something like that, uh, this probably won't work because FLPs that are made on 20 on 20.9 won't open on FL 12 So obviously you have to have a current more current FL um, But yeah, I have this loop here that I started um, and You know, I have these uh, VSTs opened up in here and I have like, you know different effects opened up in here So I'm gonna play the uh, loop for you guys really quick So um, if I wanted to add drums, I could add drums on this, but uh, when I send out FLPs, I try to keep it as simple, like I like to keep the FLP looking as simple as possible. So the producer that I'm sending it to, they know uh, where everything goes or what everything's linked to or whatever. So it's not like super confusing to um, try and deal with. Uh, so with this, um, Usually like when I have like these different VSTs opened up, I always, I always like to record out the, um, the melodies. 
So what I'm gonna do here is I have this part looped and then I just went in and armed each of the melodies for uh, to be recorded. And then right now I'm gonna just do Alt R and then render all of these so all of these sounds out. That way, if I were to send it to another producer and if they didn't have, like, say, if they didn't have any of these plugins, um, the plugins wouldn't load up, but they would still have the audio file right here of the sound, and then they would also still have the MIDI. So if they wanted to change the VST right here, Hive, for instance, if they wanted to change it to a different VST, um, they could do that, or a different sound, they could do that. So the way you would uh, send out an FLP or export it is you would go up to here, you would go up to file, and then you would go to export, and then you would go to zip loop package. So I like to save all my starters in one location. So I always have, a, so I have a folder for that. And all you would do is save it just like this. All you would have to do to open it is just go to open, and then you would just open up the zip just how it is. Um, I know when I started out, I used to make the mistake of actually like clicking on the zip, like unpacking it and then opening the FLP from inside the zip, which is not what you want to do. Um, that could like, that would still fuck it up because you still don't have any of the sounds in the FLP. So you want to open it, you want to open up the zip just how it is in FL. Uh, so yeah, so I think that pretty much covers it for FLPs and now I'm going to open up an FLP from my homie Geo got bands uh, and I'll sh and I'll just make different comments on how he um, how the FLP is arranged and you know how he prepped it to be worked on by another producer so um, sent me a couple here I'm gonna open this one so yeah this is what I was saying sometimes you'll have a uh, sometimes you'll get this message where uh, and the FLP was made on a more recent version than the one you have. Uh, so far, w w if you have 20.9, you can just bypass this and say yes. Because even if it's like 20.9.6 opening on 20.9.1, it it still opens. But uh, I can't say the same if it was like FL20 to FL12 type shit. So, um. All right, y'all. So <clears throat> this is the FLP that Geo opened or Geo sent me. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it's all pretty organized. Uh, we have the melodies from Serum up here and here. And then he also laid out the drums, which is nice too. Um, also with the drums, they're all like pretty simple. You can see which is which and you know what I mean? Like, it's just easy to see and it's like, it's appealing to see, you know what I'm saying? There's not like hella like, I've opened up FLPs with like hella automations and shit like that and hella shit like grouped weirdly and it's like, you don't need to be doing all that, especially if you're sending it to someone, you just want it all to look neat and simple. So, so with this, um, I'm gonna keep certain sections, but I'm gonna also add my own drums and different switch ups in it. So. All right, so right now I'm gonna add a, uh, I think I'm gonna add a lead really quick, and then later on I'm gonna drop my own pattern in here and like do a little switch up with the drums. But for now I'm gonna just try and focus on um, adding something to the melody. So I'm gonna go in here, find a sound that I like, and yeah, let's get it. So I added this really simple lead. I didn't want to go too crazy. Just kind of wanted to, you know what I'm saying, fill in the pockets of the melody. Um, but I think in this section right here, I'm going to take out this, all of this, like the, the laid out drums. And then I'm going to open up a, a new pattern. And then I'm going to put that in there and try and do my own drums. So uh, just to keep it consistent, I might just use the same drums that are already in here. But I'm going to... Um, 
I'm gonna like change the like put in new patterns and stuff like that. So uh, yeah. And then instead of a clap, I'm gonna add in a snare. Just so it's um, you know what I mean. It's a little bit different. Uh, so I use this grenade snare from my pressure drum kit. So another thing I want to mention with collabs is that these drums are already like pretty simple and straightforward. So like I don't want to add my own section and then add like drums that are like hella, you know, like got a lot of things going on. So to keep it sort of consistent, I'm gonna keep the drums kind of open. Uh, I don't want to add too many, you know what I'm saying? Too many uh, snare rolls and things like that, hi hat rolls and nothing like that. So. Um, so that, you know, when you're hearing the beat all the way through, it sounds kind of consistent, but it also has its little, you know, intricacies that make it, um, you know, fly. So, uh, yeah. All right, y'all. So that's it for the beat, man. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I hope this was also informative for you guys, too. Um, like I said, I've done like pay collabs with producers and sometimes they don't know how to properly export an FLP or... You know, like I said, the FLP has like so much going on. So I hope someone out there was able to take something away from this. Um, so let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Um, and yeah, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, and yeah, so Max Flames out. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace. See you in the world.